Hello guys and welcome to episode 13 of my Tourist Ball campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we made a successful attack down here, managed to crush a unit in the pocket, and now we're going to be taking on these two artillery units that are left overextended, uh, so we'll go in there and uh, wipe them out. Just going to bring in the 2nd Battalion of the 11th Infantry Regiment. They could potentially reinforce with like more artillery, uh, but yeah, we'll bring in one extra unit just in case. Uh, I should be able to get this over and done with in phase A. If they bring in extra, we're just going to have more uh, artillery to kill, so that's absolutely fine by me. Uh, let's get this going. Yep, they're going to bring in their artillery. Going to be even more artillery. All right, going to be absolute murder. Let's grab a load of infanterist and run them down. Interesting map. Uh, let's grab all of these infanterist. You have 40 points to work with, so that's all well and good. They will have a, actually a decent amount of support weapons, I think. Like maybe like a few MG42s and then like a bunch of leader units that are like this one. Uh, actually, probably not like that one. That one's only got four men. But like the artillery leaders that have eight men. They'll, they'll probably have some of those. Or ten men, sorry. But yeah, we're just going to attack towards their spawns. We'll bring out some Kalarashi as well. Put those... Those Kalarashi would actually be really, really nice. Because uh, the sniper does chunk artillery weapons quite well and we're going to be able to hit them from a distance so that's good. I uh, will bring in a bunch more and these are going to go down this road. Okay cool uh, let's just launch the battle. Don't have to do anything uh, too exciting. Speed it up and hopefully don't bump into anything too scary. Just MGs that we've got to watch out for really. Gonna have an infantry ish go and unload on this lag here I think it looks like there is something there that needs to go some salience in between us that I'm gonna have to get rid of otherwise we're gonna end up surrounded like this so this is kind of what I was worried about like these infantry squads that are actually quite big the infantry leaders, but just breaking these off, we're going to cut them across, and then we'll continue up the road. I'm going to unload the leader here with the Kalarashi. Unloaded a couple of my infantry there, but well, we're going to have to unload a lot more of these, I think. <clears throat> Alright, let's unload these. Looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit more of my infantry management. Uh, we can unload a bunch of these next to the ML-20s and kill them. Just hope we don't both fire. Kill that one and then that one, please. Okay. Uh, that might actually die. <laughs> it's being targeted by the artillery in it as well. Where is it? Alright, these are fine. Let's just get these unloaded. There's a bunch of Kanaya. Yeah, I thought they might have a few like decent infantry squads about. But here we should be able to get right up on top of them. Kill them off. Great. Doing a lot of damage there. That's good. Gonna have that unload next to that one. Over here. Looks like the Kalareshi. Got the better of the Kanaya. It's good. Uh, let's spread these out a bit. Okay. 
Yeah, just a little bit of management at least. Uh, let's get these unloaded. Get off that 152. Get these to push the spawn. Let's cut them off. Good. All right. I feel like I should have lost more stuff. <laughs> I really do because I didn't manage that super well. I think because the Maxims and the infantry we're up against don't actually do too much damage on their own. It unloaded my transports before they actually took too much damage and died. So that was nice. We're almost done. I uh, gotta be careful here. Oh, we just fucking. Oh, gosh. He banged that <laughs> Kalalashi squad. I thought he was going for the Infantanisht. Oh, I jinxed myself with those losses. <laughs> Apologies for the swear. But that was not ideal. Oh, damn. Alright. Let's get some Lunatist up here. Uh, we're going to have to kill these as well. Thankfully, we do have the Kalalash here, so should be able to pin them relatively quickly. Okay, cool. I'm just going to run them down. Let's enclose on this Visivod from all sides. We'll get on top of this 152. Alright. Get that Kalalash here to move up. Visivod have been surrounded. Let's surrender them. Oh, these guys, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pin those in time. I mean, I don't think they're aiming at my unit directly, so that's fine. And that 152 is turning around to engage. Ah, oh, never mind. Aiming at something else. I thought it was turning around to engage these infanterist, but uh, it's not. That's good. Unload here. Kill that off. Move these up. Just finding and killing all the leftover artillery. That's every single flag taken. Any more artillery up here that we can kill? Could be at least a couple. But game ended. Six minutes, nine seconds. Lost that one Kalalash here. Sorry, Kalarashi, I kind of jinxed you. But 53 kills. That's a lot of kills. We killed a lot of 152s there. Maybe that will have destroyed some of the other artillery units, not just the one that I attacked. That'd be nice. No. <laughs> just going to take away their action points. That's okay. That means they're not going to be able to barrage us next turn. We're going to have to do this one as well. Um, we will just bring in that unit and that unit just in case. Uh, it's tactical battle, and we'll jump on in. The only other thing that could really happen in these battles is maybe aircraft come in. We'd probably win so fast that it doesn't matter though. Okay, um, this one's pretty simple map, so let's go ahead and bring in lots of infanterist, and we will just drive down these roads and finish them off. All right, so we'll have half of them go there, half of them can go there. Okay, there we go. Start the battle, and the remaining units can come in and just spread out a little bit so we don't end up with loads of pockets like we did last game. This one should be easier because there's way less troops for them to bring in. They've only got 20 points like we do, so... Yeah, it's going to be a lot less chaotic. Just going to be us driving up to the back of the map where all the artillery is and then killing it. Nearly there. Watch the convoy zoom towards the enemy. 
all these Ford trucks. Speed it up. Just gotta be a little bit careful. I obviously don't want them to uh, engage me with anything scary. <coughs> yeah, A19 just sniped one of my transports. That's pretty awkward. Just gonna keep them going though. I uh, will have one come back and unload. Looks. Can't drive into those. But I can drive past them. We did lose one unit of infantry, unfortunately. Alright, let's get these guys unloaded. They should be in range to in that in time. Oh, a direct hit there. If they take another direct hit, they'll probably get pinned down, so they need to hurry up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Run, boys! <laughs> oh no, they're not—they're not running in the right direction. Oh, there's so many dead. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> that is gross. I just got absolutely memed there. <clears throat> that was uh, not good. Not good to say the least. That is four units have been vanished, getting absolutely slammed. Oof. Big, big oof. Okay, well, <clears throat> we will pretend that didn't happen. These two are dying as well. AI too good with this artillery. We've captured every flag though, so... Books on them, I suppose. Please just get into cover, Infantilish. Where are you going? No, <laughs> oh, that one. As long as the squad doesn't die, I don't lose them. They need to keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Okay, they made it, I think. Crikey. That was uh, not ideal. Total victory, 4 minutes, 15 seconds. <laughs> Lost 6 units of infantry. Oof. Yeah. That was bad. Still destroyed them, though, so all good. All right, so that's about as much as I really want to do, I think. I'm probably going to pull these guys back so they can't be attacked. The rest are dug in around there, so that's fine. Okay, well, that is pretty much it. Those are all bombarded. We might get attacked here. We're not going to get attacked here. Well, we might do. If this unit that's like dug in decides to attack us, then we might have a battle there, but we will see. Um, do I want to bring in these guys? Uh, this is the R35s and Vunatori de Care. I know you guys uh, really wanted to see these, so I will bring them in. Uh, they're going to take a while to get to the front line, though. I don't know where I should bring them. I could bring them over here to maybe counterattack some of the naval brigade. Like, this is a lot of, like, Muskaya. A lot of Sis 3 is there. That's probably not the best bet. <laughs> they have a lot of Sis 3s. Yeah, I think bringing them in down here and then moving them up would be the best plan. Or well, over here and then over, uh, move them up here. Or well, move them in here and then move them like, across. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to move them up to this area, and we'll use them here. So I'll try and get these into a battle, if I can. Um, I know you guys really want to see them. So, yeah. I'll try my best. But that is it for our turn, I believe. Just got to move up a few of these units. Get the Penal Battalion. Move up. I kind of need more stuff to get into the salient on the top side here, so... Keep shifting all that up. Uh, these mountain battalions can come over here to back us up. 
need to get this one on the right hand side. And all of these, might as well shimmy them forwards a little bit. Some of them I probably don't want to move. Because they can provide reinforcements for other units, but... Yeah, we'll leave it like so. That's fine. I'm just going to dig these in. And I think that is it. Yep, looks like it. Let's move on to the next turn. Alright, we're under attack. No surprise, to be honest. And it's going to be a difficult one to defend. Actually, maybe not too bad. We can actually bring in this unit in phase A to reinforce. So, yeah, that's actually not too bad at all. We can have maybe the Fusiliers or another infantry unit in phase C. Or phase B, sorry. This unit's not that strong, but there is a lot of artillery. And in phase B, if they bring in some more uh, rifles or something, that could get tough. They could also bring in some aircraft, although I think my fighter group's kind of covering us, so... I'm not sure how that would go. Let's go for a third infantry regiment. And, uh... Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Wow! They brought in the 7th Naval Assault Regiment and it absolutely tore through my IARs. Damn. <laughs> we lost four fighters... One light bomber and one rocket aircraft. That is rough. That unit decimated us in the skies. This first fighter group has taken a beating. Alright, well, yeah, they're bringing in plenty of aircraft. That's what's going to happen. So on the ground, we're actually fine, but... I really thought my aircraft had me covered, but apparently not. <laughs> That's uh, pretty rough. Uh, I'm going to probably just counterattack, to be completely honest. It'd be better if I attack them and take their spawn, I think. Because they've only got one unit against us. So yeah, I think I'm going to just go hard against them. Just try and end it fast before the aircraft get the better of me. So we will deploy um, quite aggressively. Um... Although they do have 122s, so maybe I have to be a bit cautious. I'm going to bring in the IGs anyway. Uh, that can help us out here. And deploying the IGs at the start this time because we're going to get bombed regardless. So I might as well just have them in ready to go and they can help us out where needs be. Uh, we'll get an MG that can move up to the edge. I have a bunch of grenadiers, or at least a couple of them. We can push up with a gunfutter. Uh, we'll do the same here. Two grins with a gunfutter and an MG. And we'll get the MG like into that building for now. On the left, we can do bunch of grins that can just push forwards and across. We'll do a bunch of grins here that can spread out a little bit into those buildings. We'll get an MG42 and sit back a little bit but we're gonna try and go for all of these buildings with the grins. Okay there we go. And we'll get a leader with those. Es ist mir eine Ehre, die uh, I might want to do like LFHs. Uh, maybe I could put some of these on the hill. Just to be a bit of like a battery. And then we have like a couple grenadiers that can push out from that. I do have more MGs, so I could, I could bring in an MG up here as well. So we're going to counterattack towards their spawn. Try and take as as much as we can, as, as quickly as we can, and uh, go from there. There's going to be plenty of aircraft though, so... Yeah, we do have to be a little bit careful with the micro. Yep, here we go. 
already bringing in stuff. Is that gonna be okay? It's good. Be targeting. Gonna be a grand unit. Not too bad. I'm right, gonna hope my LFHs hit the mark. If they can smash those transports, that'd be great. I think I maybe cancelled one of my Grens there. Now they do have these 122s. So we're actually going to try and RT those. They are going to be able to bring in a lot of units because they do have two sets of aircraft, but we do need to like play aggressively, I think. It's going to cluster bomb my LEFH. Oh, rude. Alright, uh, we'll bring in some more. Infantry, I'm not really sure what I could use to take these out. Like, maybe I should bring in my other IG-33s. And then just use them to try and smash the 122s directly. The 122s will also be able to do the same back to me, so... Do you have to be careful. Nice, good direct hit there. Hopefully we can finish that one off, at least. I really wish I had some sort of AA. <laughs> I really wish I did. <laughs> it's ridiculous how effective those cluster bombs are. Okay, just gonna bring in like my pack 40s and everything so that I can like shoot their transports. It's gonna damage there. And they go surrender them. Oh wow, that's a lot of Razvitka. Redvitka spam on the left there might actually kill those Grens. We'll have to bring in some more of our own. And uh, I'll make one of these a Grenfjörder. Alright, let's keep these going forwards. No reason to stop. Gotta keep the pressure on the infantry. Kill as many of them as we can, as quickly as we can. Keep these running away from the Vizca. Get these into position. Gotta be careful of these S2s. Keep running boys, keep running. If I can keep these alive it'd be an absolute miracle. Oh, one of the 150, 105s went down. Honestly, these kind of did their job. They like distracted the AI quite effectively. Which is kind of what I wanted them to do. And they also did some damage. Alright. I really need to kill this 122. If I can get these back 40s down low and start firing at it. That'd be great. It's just one tapping all of my stuff right now. It's really annoying. I don't think that's close enough. No, it's not. 
Ah. Is this too... Killed one of my back 40s. Oh, yeah. oh, these need to be spread out because it's not going to end well. Alright, let's get these unloaded. We we'll start making a counter push. On that side. Oh, it would be really good if my IG can engage that 122. A lot of these are getting low on ammunition, which is, I think, is causing the biggest problem here. Let's get, let's get loads more in. We just need more and more. Gotta completely overwhelm them. Only five minutes till victory, so we're getting there. We're getting there. I lost my transport. That's fine. Let's keep the push going. Get rid of these this twos as well. That'd be fantastic. Another 122 came in. Yeah, it looks like the aircraft have kind of calmed down a little bit. Uh, we'll bring in more MG42s though. That'd be really good for just finishing things off. I'm going to bring in more of these LFHs as well, just to try and take out that 122 back there. So if I can, I should probably try and just like delete this unit that I'm playing against. If I can get rid of another unit in this push across towards the other ball, um, it's actually going to really help us out a lot. So, Lost that Grenadier quite far up there. Um, I don't know if I should push across towards these. It might be better to kind of... I don't know, I wanted to go for the spawns, but I don't know if it's actually worth it anymore. It might be worth just waiting the four minutes. Rather than trying to like overextend any more than I already have. And we're pretty much covering the spawn roads, so should be okay. Hopefully that doesn't do too much damage. <laughs> okay, <I> missed. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> could do is some recon up the front here. Alright, let's keep these on the go. Keep pushing forwards. Goodbye, Grins. Those 122s are so nasty when they're in direct fire. Especially if I don't have, like, significant artillery to take care of them. Go on, IG. Please hit. Please hit. You have to hit. <laughs> you have to hit. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> if you don't, you die. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, good kill. Good kill. Good shots, indeed. Right, that can fall back. We'll carry on. Keep putting the pressure on. Keep killing as much of this stuff as we can. Then we never have to deal with any of it again. Oh, Purple Blitz got killed. My bad. Missed that one. Taxi, 
I think considering they've used two air units for this battle, like the losses that we've taken aren't too bad. Like We've managed to pretty much decimate this unit entirely. Is he double teaming my MG42? That's rude. Hopefully it misses... Just... Nice close range with the 122 there. Hopefully we can kill it. Yeah, it's gone. Alright. Commander's dead. I'm running down the 122 with my BMW motorcycle. Yes, boys. Get it. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> Take him out, boys. <laughs> An absolute champion. I won't let that one get killed by the AT gun. <laughs> Alright, that is it. Ten seconds left. They have no eyes. They are blind. Uh, like, the Boston might be able to spot something, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ton of victory, 11 minutes, 46 seconds. We lost 25. We killed 85, though. Uh, lost the LEFHs, a bunch of Grens. Yeah, nothing too crazy, honestly. Like, none of the really good support weapons. Like, maybe, a, like, losing a pack 40 sucks on the IG. Um, But yeah, otherwise, not too bad. And a lot of the Grens, I, I don't think, will actually be lost. Yeah, because <laughs> certain stuff was deployed at the start. It's all good. Nice. Alright. So that unit, I wonder if it actually got destroyed. How is that not destroyed? <laughs> they have barely got anything in the company. That's ridiculous. Oh, gosh. Okay, anyway. Um, at least if they leave this unit here, I can maybe attack that unit. I'd probably want to attack one of these disorganized units, though. Maybe this one. Like, I could just go straight onto the terrorist ball flag. That'd be kind of crazy. Um, anyway, we'll see. We've got another defense to make. Uh, the 49th Guards Rifle Division coming in on us. Uh, probably with more air support. Actually, we've got AA here, so probably not. Uh, but definitely with plenty of artillery. Could be another case of, like, wanting to counterattack, but probably isn't a good idea. Uh, we'll have the bunkers to play with, at least. Probably not going to take too long to deploy them, though. Um, I could bring in the tanks behind, but... I think we'll just go for one of these units back here, maybe? Although they're both a bit damaged. And this infantry unit's fine. The unit at the front is <laughs> not fine. It's been hit a lot. Let's do Fizzlers. Okay, that's fine. They're bringing in a infantry unit in phase B. And only one artillery unit, so that's actually pretty good for us. They're probably just going to focus my bunkers with the artillery, and so we'll, we'll be absolutely fine. I'm not going to like waste too much time putting uh, bunkers down. Well, this is quite a wide map. Um, let's just quickly do it. I'm just going to deploy like as far up as I can with these bunkers for the most part. Uh, let's see. We could do one maybe over here. I could probably put that quite far, like further back, actually. Just make sure that's facing the right way. Uh, we'll do one up here. Uh, that can be a 37, actually, because it's a shorter range. Uh, we'll do a 50 over here. Um, we'll do it there. And probably want a couple to shoot up these roads. It'd be better if I could leave it in range of this road as well, but we do have 37s. I think we'll put a 37. No. No, we'll do a 50. Something like that. And we'll do some 37s over here. A 
give you another one over here. Still going to put down my MGs as well, so we got those to work with. Um, let's just do it like this. I'll do. Are the MGs? I'm not quite sure where the best place to put MGs is on this map, actually. But we'll put one on the left here that can kind of just help cover that. Um, we'll put one in the middle. And we'll put one maybe a little bit further back on this side. Something like this. And then maybe the same here. Something like this. Yeah. Alright. So how many is that? One, two. Oh, I didn't end up putting down the one in the middle. I kind of want one here, but I think I'll just put some infantry there. So let's just put this here. Uh, we'll make... A little bit of barbed wire, just to slow things down. Or oh, is that not going down? I was basing it too far forwards, probably. Lay some barbed wire across. So, slow them down. I'll do. Um, we'll just grab some infantry and get this underway ASAP. So we're just going to do like a few grands here. I will gra grab a leader there. We'll do grands over here. I'm just going to put these in the trees though. And we'll have a leader with those. Uh, I'll probably put some in here just as reserve. Uh, we'll put a couple here. Uh, maybe with an MG, actually. Not a bad idea. Uh, we could put them in this town. Yeah, that seems uh, a good idea. We just need some extra dudes. Get a grand feeder with them. Let's grab some more grands from this other unit. Alright, uh, we'll do... Uh, there's no flag here, is there? I do want to counter-attack somewhat. So, but I think my initial forces should be dug in for the most part. I'm just going to spread out a bunch of infantry across here. This is like really kind of dumb because if they're out in the open, they're just going to get smashed. But I think they'll be okay. They will survive. <laughs> I have faith in my infantry. Grands across here. I do want to put some grands across here, but this light cover is kind of dodged, so I think we'll do it back here. Put the MGs out for sure. But all of those MGs are down. Um, do I have any gun pits? I'm pretty sure I can maybe put a MG in a gun pit. Not sure if that works. Anyway, let's get the trenches on top of these before I forget. Okay, those don't need trenches. This one does. And these should be fine. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for defensive deployment, at least. Got one more MG here. That I can place down. I'm gonna place it in here. Uh, we should also grab our IGs and stuff. Definitely need those. Uh, so we'll do IG 33s like further back. This has taken a little while longer than I expected it to, just because I have so many points to deploy. We'll put a couple of IGs in here. Not too close to the bunker because otherwise they'll get RT'd. And we do have pack 40s as well, which would be pretty useful. But we'll put it on this IG. Uh, let's put this IG back here. And these IGs. I mean, maybe I could put one of these in a gun pit. Eventually. Not sure. Don't want it to be like too close to the to the tree line there.
Let's just do it there. Put it in a gun pit. Yeah, I think we're going to have to start defensive and then go from there. So we'll bring in a couple of mortars. We won't have them anywhere near each other. Just like really kind of spread out a bit. And that'll do nicely. Don't really have that many more infantry. I don't really want to invest too heavily. I put a leader there. Drop that. Put a commander with those machine guns. Let's do that. Alright. There we go. So you can see why normally I cut it out, but I guess it's sometimes nice for you guys to hear my thoughts on how I'm placing stuff. In this case, it's a pretty simple defense. Like, I'm placing my bunkers quite far up because they're going to be... Um, it's, a, it's a pretty simple battle. There's nothing that can really, like, damage us aside from maybe, like, OBs or something like that. Oh, I forgot to give these guys bunkers. All right, let's just put these in buildings. Yeah, this is working, which is cool. I think I'll just have them there. Anything that's annoying, like the OBs, um, we will just hit with uh, 120mm mortars. But yeah, I'm going to try and like transport snipe as much as I can at the start, and then with any remaining troops, we can counterattack. Uh, I could probably counterattack actually with mostly fusiliers, although we don't have many fusiliers left. So on this right hand side is a good example of somewhere where we could try and counterattack. Just bring in a load of fusiliers with fusilier Führer, and then like one grenadier that I've got to keep alive so he pushes the front liner. Although the uh technically the leader will anyway. But yeah, I need to kill that. Actually I should put, probably tell one of these to smoke this so that it doesn't die. Hello, Katyushas. They're targeting my infantry, that's uh, kind of strange. I'm just going to keep arting that. We'll need to arty this as well. Going to want to get some supply in. Do that. I'm surprised we didn't hit that 122, like, even once. I think we're going to try and push forwards a little bit here. going to abandon my trenches. I'm going to bring in, like, fusiliers. We do have a lot of MGs, actually. I don't actually have that many fusiliers, well. Um, Alright, let's uh, do this. We'll just deploy... A few extra grands here. Oh, we just need like one direct hit and they'll blow up. There we go. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Goodbye, Katusha. Killed that one as well, actually. I got hit by the AT gun, so never mind. Don't need to uh, mortar that. Uh, looks like it's happening. Right, we're getting to the buildings here. Should be okay. Just trying to put pressure onto this flag on this side. These guys have arrived, so let's push these through. Ooh, do need to be careful here. Um, let's move this away. And I'll have them meet up with it. And these should probably move as well. Let's get an IG on this side. 
Could bring in a pack 40 there as well, actually. But the reason they need to push a little bit, like even just a tad, is so that it doesn't take 30 minutes for this battle to end. If I can hold at least like a couple more flags, it can be so much faster, so. I cut the time in half. Uh, let's just do one strike there. Let's move these back. I, I might as well just like, keep them together, I think. Although if I get lazy, they're all going to die. Let's have them move out from the trenches. I'm going to have these move this way as well. Might as well. This one can fall back because he's taking damage. Let's kill some of this stuff. Oh, these are getting hit hard. If gonna lose them, unfortunately. Need to get these fusiliers to pin that down ASAP. Very good. Alright, let's grab all these. We're gonna hit that twice, because that's a lot of stuff. And then we're gonna move all of these over here and get the Opal Blitz to move preemptively. Uh, where's that firing? Move. Direct fire cash issue, pretty much. <laughs> That's rough. Okay, let's uh, get through here and kill this uh, 122 as well. I'm going to go through on this side as well. Might as well. Uh, let's go this way and then like so. Those to follow. I'm going to bring in a pioneer that can unload in here for us. These are going to have to stay back. Push these forwards. Gonna bring in a pioneer that can unload here. I should have the pioneers ideally be the ones going in the trees, but because they're not already on the map, it's just faster this way. I could go for this flag as well, probably, so we might as well. Keep moving them all up. Oh, that's separately. Um. Alright, let's move to the right here. These can move to the left. We just need to keep distance from them. Okay, good. We spied them before they actually engaged us, but these guys are still getting chewed up. They are falling back now, so they've changed target, which is good, although these aren't in heavy cover, so that's really bad. <laughs> oh, that was a bad engagement for us. Really bad. Ooh, the Avtos. Oh, that was lucky. Not normally you get the better of Avtos at close range like that. Firing at, <clears throat> I was firing at where my mortars were. Lucky. All right, we'll move these over here afterwards. Move my 
guys preemptively again. Okay, only 10 minutes still. Victory now. That's good. Let's have these move to the left. Uh, actually, I do need to leave one of these here. All of the Fusiliers can move. Uh, but one of the Grens has got to stay. Uh, ooh, is that going over the top? Uh, oh. That is close. <laughs> Very close there. Move these across. Move these across. Gonna leave one of those there. Alright. We'll get an IG in a pack 40 unloaded up here. The NKVD are actually gonna be pretty bad for my Grand Squad. Yeah, especially when they're damaged like that. We are in phase B, so they're coming in with their infantry now. They actually have a lot of stuff in phase B. Gotta be a bit careful here. Especially with the Katushas coming down on us. Uh, let's unload this. Unload this. Wow, really? Please just shoot that. <laughs> Didn't appreciate the phase B. Not good. I mean, we still have our defenses to fall back on, of course, but I'd rather not cede too much ground. And these are going to have to fall back. Not going to gain any flags here, so we might as well fall back to the defenses. We didn't do it quick enough. But I did slow him down a lot, so I guess that's something. These should be okay. Uh, these might be alright. Quite healthy. Taking too much damage. Those should definitely fall back. Uh, the only other thing I can do maybe is bring in mortars. Spare mortars. Put them on fire at well. I've got so many points. Come up well. We're 20 to 4. I mean, 20, I think 20 to 4 is technically enough. To be ticking like extra, like double tick. If we lose another flag, it'll probably go to like 12 minutes left. Which ideally I don't really want to have to deal with, but we'll see. We will see. Friends got surrendered there. We did kill the OB, that was good. And down the Gavardia. These are two star Gavardia base damage though, like that's kinda crazy. Well oh, base fat. I mean so they don't they don't have a don't need to have a leader near them to be high better and see, which is pretty crazy. Uh we'll pop those once we arrive here and then and now we'll go back into here or something. Gotta keep them moving, otherwise uh, I'm just gonna lose them to a Katusha strike or something. Nice that we got killed the 122 there though. We're doing well. Uh, where are my mortars? Get these unloaded, put them on fire at well. Get these unloaded, put them on fire at well. I mean, these, if anything, these can sponge artillery shots for us, so that's good. Uh, 
Uh, we lost that one, yeah. So we've got 10 minutes left now. Gonna get these back into cover. I might as well just commit to the defense now. It's IG firing away from its gun pit. We stopped a lot of them further back, which is great. How did that miss? There we go. We got the motorcycles in. I think we do that. <laughs> I definitely think we do that. Um, let's just give these unloaded position commands. They arrive and provide veterancy instantly. Could bring in the LFHs and put them on counter battery. Do I have any more? Any more? All right, eight minutes left. I mean, we definitely, by making the initial attack and then falling back, we definitely shortened the time it would take to do this battle. So, I mean, overall, it's worked out pretty well, I would say. I'm going to have another one of these unload over here. This line is actually pretty good, like with the MG bunk here and the IG further back. Working out pretty well. Now the MG42 in its gun pit. Doing okay as well. Oh no! My motorcycle train is going straight into a Katusha strike. <laughs> Don't do it! That's <laughs> oh, sad. Ah, oh, this should probably run. Ah, <laughs> oh, the gun pit's gonna get in, Disney. That's not good. That's the worst part about a gun pit, is once they're pinned, they have nowhere to go. Because as soon as you leave the gun pit... Like, if I press retreat, he's just gonna run out into the open and take more damage, so... Yeah. Not ideal. Ooh, give MG 42s. Uh, we'll hit that, because it's like direct firing me. But then they've got to move afterwards. Again, he's to unload and uh, let's not counter battery them. We'll just we'll just do straight up orders. Oh, let's hit this lot because there's definitely a bunch of them over there. Uh, we'll have these two fire here. We are starting to make a little bit of ground. Gonna need anything we got, really. Probably should uh, Might as well bring in that mortar. Mehr 
If I move this slightly further over to the left, we can also hit these infantry. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're catching that immediately. Gonna get a supply for these pack 40s, I think. Uh, where did I lose a flag? We can't do that. That's not allowed. We want a major victory, at least. Oh, these have used up their ammunition. I don't really have the ammunition to keep those going, so I don't really mind. We finish the counter battery there, let's target that. Ooh, that pioneer's getting wrecked. Uh, let's move these over here. I'm going to get this to reload the pack 40s HE so they can just keep firing. Left side's fine. Oh, we're close to losing that one. Am um, I going to have to take a minor victory? I really don't want to have to do that. Three minutes left though. Not sure I'm gonna have a choice. This became a lot closer than I thought it would. <laughs> Good by MG42, I guess. That church is getting absolutely demolished. This is the part that I need to hold on to. Two minutes left. My, my, is it close. I think if I leave these here, we can just absolutely annihilate anything that tries to push through. Yeah, all of these we're just going to have move up and unload here even though they're only two man squads I don't really care as long as we hold on to it it's all that matters This Commandant will actually be pretty welcome, actually, because it will not even get there. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Uh, does this too is very well placed. That's annoying. Uh, I don't know how far up I can get. We've got one minute left. These guys have really got to hold on. Motorcycle squad, go! I really need to replace these units on the front line here. <laughs> they are not ideal because we just don't have like enough infantry. I should have planned that for that at the start. 
Oh, this is so close as well. Make sure these are on the edge so we can keep pressure on that. This is so, so close. 15 seconds, can we hold on? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, okay, we did it. <laughs> 24 minutes. 177 kills, 53 losses. My, my. That was crazy, man. Oh, just insane. When when I realized, like, it, we'd reached phase B, uh, I was, like, so overextended. Like, it was ridiculous. But we didn't actually lose that much when they came in. We managed to pull back quite well. So that was okay. And we managed to kill actually some really good units because of it, like the OBs. So, and a lot of Katyushas, so. That actually worked out relatively well. Nice long episode for you guys. <laughs> Didn't expect that battle to be so long. Uh, so in the end they lost 10 Katyushas. 7 of their 122s, that's pretty big actually. We really didn't lose that much overall. That's nice. Are they planning to attack me elsewhere? We will find out. The biggest thing I gotta look out for is if they move any of this stuff. Because I might be able to just push right in here. There is a big chunk of armor coming through. That's going to be scary to deal with. So far so good. Keep it sped up. And the AI gets on with it. I don't think we're going to get attacked here unless that one attacks us. So, yeah. Not bad. Then bringing in some AA here is not ideal. Although we didn't really use any of our aircraft in the defense, so that's nice. Other than intercepting one IL-2. Oh, they decided to bring in the 116th Fighter Regiment over my AA. They took a few losses there, which is good. We held strong, and it's our turn. Cool. All right, well, plenty to do then in our turn. That was a very, very clutch battle there, managing to get the major victory out of it at least. Managed to disorganize them. Not sure we're going to be able to capitalize on the disorganization, uh, but certainly these units are looking very, very weak. Uh, we'll probably just bombard them, try and stop them attacking us anyway. Uh, but yeah, that is it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah,